The AMX 1357 is hands down the most annoying tank to fight against in World of Tanks. It's the ultimate troll tank, and today I'm gonna be giving it a try. I've kind of tired of grinding, and so it's really good when you're grinding to just kind of take a break and play something that you actually enjoy. And here's the AMX 1357. It's a fucking blast. <laughs> or it's multiple blasts. The thing has 90 alpha and one second reload. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This matchmaking is so good. So we're on the map Prokhorovka. This is the ultimate scout map. And this thing, we're not going to scout because scouting is too risky. I really don't like it. But what I can do is I can go after their light tanks. A lot of lights, well, they don't really have any fast ones. But typically the faster lights will make this stupid jump in the mid. And if you're in an AMX 137057, you can try to catch them out and get a couple of shots into them. Now, I don't think their lineup is really going to allow that. And so because they actually don't have a very active light tank team... If I wanted to, I could go to these bushes. I don't want to, it's too high risk, like I might get spotted by someone YOLOing here. Instead, what I'd prefer to do is we'll set up our Binox, try to clip out someone here. Ideally, it'll be a Super Hellcat or something, and we'll see what happens. So, I'm gonna teleport up to there, and the idea here is to turn the tank around so I can get away quickly, because you have to be really aggressive in the short tanks to spot the cross. There you go, spot the T29, exactly like that. And from here, oh shit. I'm not going to hit hello. That's exactly what I was worried about. So put a shot into him. That's fine. That's all I'm going to get. And from here, tank destroyers will already be up here, and I don't want to get shot by them. So I did get a shot into the 1375. That's kind of where this tank suffers is the alpha damage, but whatever. I'm going to return, and we're not going to try to scout the position where the T29 was spotted. We're going to wait for this. The T29 is going to be coming up anyway, so he's going to eventually spot me. Oh, shit. I have to keep these guys lit, actually. So right now, this guy is going to prevent my entire team from controlling the hill. This is really hard to make happen because uh, we've got Artie. Now, we have already Like, they've got Artie. Now, we have Artie, too. So that's actually going to be really good. Especially if I know Artie's supporting me, I'm going to be comfortable sh spotting that 7032-122 for them. But this is still a risky play. So the way to try to spot these guys is I'm aware that the T29 is here. So when I try to spot, he might light me if that makes sense. So I have to be really careful. I don't want to get snapshot by the 703. I do spot him, though. Hopefully, I already hits him. And there's the T29. So if that T29 is more aggressive, he will eventually spot, spot me. This camo is ridiculous. I want to hit this guy. Is already going to shoot him? No, evidently not. <laughs> I'm just spotting this. So the problem with spotting is you see like arty players are sometimes very slow to shoot who you want to. So you have to not only like rely on your arty players. In this position we have shots on people like this STA too and my team is going to need this support. So we're just going to put flanking shots into them. It's 100 damage a shot effectively but still. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get lit right there. And actually I'm going to reload right here. So if the Oho is getting spotted, Artie's going to shoot here. I don't want to be near an Oho who's lit in the middle of an open field. So we're just going to fall back, wait until he falls back and then we'll return to shoot at that STA2, who's someone I can totally pen. Holy shit. <laughs> if we can get a clip into his turret, he's gonna be so annoyed. He's gonna lose his commander and everything. See, that's why you don't sit next to Ohos. Okay, so it looks like we're not getting the clip out opportunity that I'm looking for. That's fine. I'm still gonna be patient. I really have to watch this Oho, because he's just getting me clicked, you know? Okay, we'll reload. Try to spot this guy here for the spotting damage. Hopefully someone shoots him. If I was Artie, I'd be shooting at me, I think. I wouldn't be shooting at me, but most Artie players would. I'm a light tank. And uh, that 703 is not being punished at all. So that's really frustrating. There's nothing I can do about it. I can come up to here and look for side shots on this Tiger. And here's where we'll aim for his ammo rack, because uh, the gun depression. Okay, so I have to make sure... I looked at the map to make sure there's nothing to my side. I'm trying to keep buildings in between myself and the 703. And I'm just going to focus on clipping this guy out. I've got food, which helps a lot with this long-range sniping. <laughs> this shot won't go in, but we can shoot at the STA. So we have to pick our targets here, which is fine. Like, this thing is definitely one of those tanks where you have to do that. And we get a full clip into those guys. Not necessarily penned every single one, but we penned a good percentage, and we want these shots to work. Now, in my opinion, the risk here isn't necessarily arty, but it's the 7032 YOLOing me. So normally what you do in this situation is you'd have to leave. But I've got an Oho here, and I've got a 1357. So if the 703 YOLOs me, I'll just drive around the Oho until arty and people kill him. That's exactly what I want. I'm gonna pop up, look to my side, see if anyone's spotting me. No one is. This guy's looking at me. So he's aware that I'm here, which is annoying. Nothing I can really do about it. Oh, fuck. Okay, luckily the STA missed, and I have to be careful about who's lighting me. So right now I have three shots left. I'm going to load gold. Artie's not... I don't think Artie's going to shoot this 703. I think this fight on the hill 
is really important. So be, having gold loaded for the 7032 is really useful, and also having gold loaded for these guys up here. I'm going to see if I can get one more shot into these guys, because I want to punish them while they're playing this rage. This guy's just camping me. <laughs> I'm that annoying. He stopped shooting at anyone that's a threat and he's focusing me. We'll go after this tiger. Try to dump this clip as quickly as possible because I want to get out of here. I think it's really likely that I'll get YOLO. Couple shots disappeared. I expect those hit the SDA. And uh, from now, we've got 8, 16, 24, basically three clips left. So I have to be really careful with my gun because we're running out of ammo at this point. <laughs> And I'm confident these guys will want me dead. So 703 is pushing up, and you can see that's kind of what I have to be careful about. I think I have to kind of give up the mid, because Artie's not helping me. It's really likely that Artie on their team will shoot at me, and I just don't want to be getting lit in the mid anymore. I can change my position as well, and that's exactly, you know, once these guys push down, I'll be able to clip into them. This guy's in a really good position, actually. So, doesn't look like the T29's one of the best of players. Artie kills him instead of the 703. Incredible. But he was in a decent position. He was pressuring that 703. Now, what's going to happen is this 703 might cross over. So, I'm in a position to snipe the hill. Yeah, exactly. But I just want bushes in between myself and the 703, if that makes sense. So, we'll take these shots. I'm going to mostly fully aim these. I've got the broadside of a tiger. Like, I can do that. And this guy's not crossing, which is good. I expect that 703 to die. Or the tiger to die. Obviously, one of those two is going to die. 7 to 3 gets the kill. They don't help him at all. Try to put a shot into the STA. That one goes high. Get this one in. Good. Try to hit these last couple shots right here. These shots need to go in if I want my team to. I just missed that tiger. I didn't see him at all. What the fuck? Okay, I'm going to get this last shot off. No, maybe I'm not. Okay, and we're going to start reloading. So from here, this tiger is going to push in. Now, I know for a fact my gold can pen him decently, so I can support my teammate's tiger, but I don't really want to be using all of my shells. That's what I was worried about. Did I get lit? No, I didn't. Okay, so I'm in a position to keep this guy lit. His position is already safe, so there's really no point for me being here other than to be a nuisance. Once he knows I'm here, he's going to YOLO me. So really, what I want to do is I want to get out. So I'm going to stay here as long as possible because I want to shoot that STA if this tiger spots him. And then the second, like, the Object 703 gets over here, I'm going to move. He's got really bad gun handling, so he's probably not never going to snapshot me. But I'm sitting here because I want shots on that... Uh STA as he pushes down. So here the 703 has to cross the open field to shoot at the Tiger, and this is perfect. I don't think I'm lit. Yeah, I'm not lit. Okay, perfect. So he put shots into... Dude, that was a great shot from him. I think I'm just gonna leave. Incredible. So he hit that blind, which is exactly what he should do. Now I could stay in this position if the Tiger was alive and just be a nuisance right there, right? But the, the Tiger died, so I'm not able to put that guy in a crossfire. We're able to get out of that position for free, which is exactly what we needed. And from here, I've got 16 shells left, and I want to try to win the one line, I think. Now, the reason for that... Well, do I really want to win the one line? Hmm. So I could try pushing up the mid and going for RD. And then the setter will yolo me. Who's unspotted right now? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. They're all spotted. So STA might come here. That's what I would do if I was the STA. 703 pushed up. 703 is going to die. Do I take this shot? Really, I'm not going to. Who spotted me? Probably the setter. Okay. So this 703 is going to die. I'm going to get into the middle of the map. And then we're going to yolo already once I'm unspotted. I expect the Artie is looking at the T-71, if anything. Okay, so that 703 is dead. That's good. We're now in a really good position to shoot at that WZ if we need. If I was the STA, I'd be right here. So I'm going to double check that. Do I have shots in the WZ? Yeah, I'm definitely going to take these. Because this guy's going to spot my whole team. And we want him dead. Fuck. If I was Artie, I'd be shooting me right now. Not really going to take any more. He's now splash damage for Artie. STA 2 spotted. So we can cross over, shoot AP at the STA. And that's good, because he's a 3-shot. 9, 18, 27. Yeah, this guy's a 3-shot. My alpha's 90 damage. That's what I just calculated. And this guy's 269 HP. So we'll kill this guy if we can. And then we'll go kill Artie. Okay. Oh, fuck, yes. Okay, great. Now we're down to APCR. We've got 9 shells left. And I'm going to cross this open field. Now, actually, no, I'm not. We need to play this carefully. So if I was Artie, Artie could be sitting here and they wouldn't really have any reason to move. If you looked at the map, the Object 703 was here, the STA was there, like 
from an arty player's perspective, GW just blind fired one right there. Exactly. So I was justifying a position to be there. Basically, from the arty's perspective, there's no reason to leave this position until that STA2 dies. So what I'm going to do is we're going to pop up here. The GW might be here. He is. Oh, this is the best part of this game. Hopefully I don't get one shot. He misses. That's exactly what we want. Oof, that guy's done for. <laughs> Fantastic. We're down to four shells left. Holy shit. And I'm just going to go straight in for that super Hellcat. So I've got some HP to take the hit here. Really, I don't want to. What I'd rather do is I'd rather sit in a position on cap with my Binox set up to try to spot them as they push into me. Now, if I can get shots on the ISM while I'm on cap, that would be ideal. And uh, we might get a call of Banos out of this. I'm going to take these shots. If they're green, they're not. Yeah, no point. I'm not going to risk throwing the game to be honest so this t71 is pushing in the probability that the super hellcat kills the t71 is super high so it's not really like what is he doing incredible okay so super hellcat gets lit that's what we want i'll take these last four shells just just to try to get this guy out of the fight oh fuck i've got one shell left this guy's a one shot I'm going to yield the Super Hellcat. I hope the timing. This 45 is going to get the ISM killed, and then the Super Hellcat's going to be in this row of bushes, so I hope I can get the Call of Banovs. Okay, he's dead. No! What is he doing? No! <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that Super Hellcat doing? So close to a Call of Banovs. We just ran out of ammo. <laughs> Oh my god, that's got to be the most fun I've had in a while. The standard B and this are two of the most fun tanks in the game. Oh, we just ran... <laughs> what was he? He was so... Like, I was so close to a call of Banovs. What the hell? <laughs> Incredible. 3,358 damage. Probably not a lot of spotting. Yeah, 800 spotting. I felt like that's because Artie wasn't supporting me. We fired 56 shells. <laughs> Lost 91k credits. That was incredible. Oh my god. I really like that. I hope you did too Really appreciate you watching to the end of my video. Thank you so much If you want to see more of my videos be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button and I hope to see you around later guys. Bye. -bye. That was so good <laughs> Oh, I had so much fun. <laughs> Jesus